Hello everyone, how's it going? Doctor Incompetent here, and let's play some Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup on a roguelike Monday, shall we? Picking up where we left off. Alex, good evening, good to see you. So, you know, when I haven't played a character in a second, one of the first things I always have to do is just check in and see where is this character and what are their strengths and weaknesses? What's the situation? So we're at full health and magic, which is good to see. We're only at three piety on Zin, but I believe that's because I had to do some evasive maneuvering and use a uh, get out of jail to escape something terrible. So we'll have to build up our reputation. I have um, Gels. I have some nice evocable items here. Mirror. Lightning Rod, the Tambourine, I got um, a reasonable selection of potions, but I have no potions of curing. Lee, it doesn't look great, does it? Um, oh, no, no, I do have potions of curing. They're just grayed out because I don't need it right now. Right. And I'm pretty good on wands. I can still vitalize, which is fine, and imprison. What are we training? We're training earth magic and conjurations. We got a book of conjurations, which is giving us plus four to our aptitude. So we're just going to finish this out until the book is over. And this will give us access to... Uh, some bigger spells that we're trying to turn online. So already we have Fireball, Easy to Cast, Stone Arrow, Mephitic Cloud, some good stuff. We've got Blink as an escape. Siloom, good evening. Good to see you. Now, I think we were trying to work our way toward Bombard, which we're actually getting pretty close to. Orb of Destruction is right there. On the precipice too, and then um, Hellfire Mortar is also insane, but our our Earth skill just isn't quite there. So we'll just continue making this happen and see what we can do. We are on Snake Pit One. So let's see here. We've explored this floor entirely. Uh, looks like I came up from that stairwell. Let me just see what's down here. All right, so I got a Naga Mage down here. I haven't seen too much on Snake 2, but that's okay. We are going to just kind of cast Fireball up at that Mage and just give them a bunch of Fireballs up here. All of them can have Fireballs. So I'm going to go ahead and then recite. Now this... Guy will constrict us, but that's not going to be a problem. And let's see. Let me put a fireball right there. And... Do I want to evoke anything on this snake that's kind of coming at us? Probably not. It's a black mamba. Annoying. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and then vitalize... And then just let it come at us, blow it away. And we don't have enough magic for a fireball. Which is sad. But it's fine. I'll waste my vitalize and we'll go to uh, a different way down. Let's just wait until we get our magic back. And then we go. And okay. So this is right by that staircase that we were just at. No problem. Go ahead and just recite, see if this does anything to the wonderful enemies here. Um, I finished reciting, I'm more vulnerable to poison is what this guy's doing. So we'll just vitalize and, you know, get protected from most poisoning. That guy wanted to constrict us, that's fine. We can just melee fight a lot of these guys. I think I'm kind of using Fireball too much. And Fireball, ooh, Ring of Protection. That's actually not 
bad to consider. What do we have on? Well, my ring of wizardry makes everything possible. We're looking for a better amulet. Without question. Artifacts, scrolls of enchant weapon or armor are good. Fading, good evening. Don't have it yet, but that's okay. I've been poisoned. Unbelievably rude. All right, here's a Naga mage. Let's just wait for this guy. Not gonna do it anymore. All right. Um, Man of Viper, in effect. Let's give him a fireball. That's for you. I'm just kind of step over here. Mm, I can go back to right here. Just fight them one at a time. Ooh, I got... This guy found his way around. Clever. Indomitable. Um, that's a lot of scrolls of immolation, which... Oh, okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and recite. And we'll just start fireballing up by this guardian serpent. Um, this guy is a notorious jerk. Let's just kill him before he summons in a bunch of his buddies. We don't want to see that. Uh, this is not going as well as I'd like. This guy is constricting us. Okay, we got out. And I need to vitalize to get rid of the poison. This guy is confused, so we can just come up and finish him. And let's just wait. There we go. Getting spicy. Um, we got putrefaction and freezing cloud, which, eh. My pack is full. This is a potion of magic. This is actually good. So we'll just get rid of some stuff that we're never going to use. Um... I don't see myself I'd love a good shield. I'm gonna drop this ring of protection. And what else do I wanna ditch? I mean immolation, you know Zen just no like It's the sharpshooter. Oh, God. Oh, okay. Vashnia is present. Okay, we got to vitalize and dodge and move around here. Ooh, magical scroll. Ooh, there's a bunch of shops in here. Well, let's see if we can live long enough to use these shops. This would be great. Who doesn't love this stuff? All right, the sharpshooter's coming in. Let's just blast him. Okay, so I need to immediately recite. Now, Boshni is probably too strong for this. So, let me see. What do I have? Anything good here? I don't think a visibility would do it, but... Well, let's try this. Boshnia, can you fight Boshnia? The one Vashnia is swinging at our mirror image Vashnia, which is kind of cool. All right. I'm going to go ahead and just blast lightning up here. And just keep doing this a bit. See if we can get in some nice damage with the continued channel. And almost there. Um, warping, how much damage would you do? Uh, you're a, it's not the right one for this. That's almost, it's not going to work. So let's just swing at Vash. Oh my God. Okay. There you go. So I lost my wand of acid, but we killed Vashnia. We got conjuration to 15 and okay. There's a bunch of idiots right here. 
finish off this one. Ow. Okay. That should be enough for now, right? Yeah, we're back. All right, let's go into here. Wait, what do we got? So this is a lot of... The enchant armor is a definite. We take this, and then the teleportation is quite good as well. Hey, Marillo, what's up, my friend? Good evening. So glad you enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Hope you're doing well. I'm going to um, shopping list this and all of these scrolls of teleportation and see what else we got here. What do you got? Um, woof. What is this? The Dragon Blood Talisman. A vial of pure dragon blood crystallized over many years. Oh, no, Zim won't let me use it because it transforms you. Okay, so it's cool in that it transforms you into a dragon, which how cool is that that they added that to the game? But it, it also has strength plus five, which is incredible. Um, but Zin will not allow it. And what else you got? You have Potion of Haste. Yeah, I don't want that, but it's neat. Teleportation, that's fine. She got here. Uh, meh. Eh, is all I say to this. I mean, there's potions of curing, and there's a potion of might. That's fine. Oof. What a waste on a mace. I could buy this, and I could put it up to plus 10. But because it's a mace, it's just basically worthless. Like, it also makes you vulnerable to fire, which is never good. It's too bad. Um, but that's okay. It's, it's the right idea. We're looking for a good artifact to go Mountain Dwarf on. The thing about a mace is that its base damage is just too low. Man, I'm having trouble hitting this guy. I don't have good resist electricity. And vitalized does not grant it. I know. Zin is all about, like, purity. So he doesn't like mutation. He doesn't like transforming. He, um, not into it. But the gods in this are so, um, such a big part of the game. They impact a lot of what you do. They add, like, so much of the personality and the flavor to your characters. But Zinn has been giving me really good stuff. I do have to continue pumping it up, though. My piety is terrible. Okay. So... Is there any helmet that I'm like, oh yeah, I definitely want to enchant this. I mean, I could pump up my plus two helmet, I think. Well, maybe not. Maybe you can't. I don't know if the Mountain Dwarf can take an item past its boundary. So even if it is an artifact, it's already plus two. So I can't, I don't think I can enchant a helmet beyond that. Yeah, I think you're right. And two is, I think, the, the limit for a helmet, if I'm remembering right. It's more like weapons and armor have a bit of a different... You know what? Let me check something really fast. How am I doing? Oh, okay. I got to stop training conjurations because my book is gone. So we'll put everything into earth magic. So now if I wanted to memorize bombard, it's down to 16%. I just need to get my earth magic a bit higher. Yeah, that makes sense, Fading. So that's cool. I just happened to get, you know, a decent one.
Oh, interesting. Okay, so it's only for random artifacts. Uh, that's, you know, plus four ring mail. I don't, I don't know if a malevolent force fills the snake pit. Okay. We've got to get out of here. We've been marked. Um, well, I do have, do I have cancellation? I have three. How far is the staircase? It's actually kind of far. I should be able to make it, though, to be honest. Yeah, I got it. Man, that mamba. Yikes. Light me up. All right, Guardian Serpent. Not ideal. Max range poison. You like a little bit better than that. Okay, this guy is... Just go ahead and recite, see what we can do. Hey, Steven, what's up, my friend? Thanks for subscribing. Oh, my goodness. This is Fireball Country. All right, they did. I got to say, I know I've said this, like, many times before, but... The fact that they changed the game so there's no hunger anymore and you can just cast spells where you don't have to worry about hunger, it's just so great. What are these? Are these bardings that they dropped? It looks like it might be. They changed the sprite for him. It's so rough, like when you would cast a big spell and it would just make you so hungry that you couldn't spam it. And you'd be like, well, I don't have enough food to do this. Yeah, it's barding. Barding of flying. That's cool. You'd have to butcher everything. You'd just always be thinking about it. Your your inventory would get bogged down with all this food. You'd have to make a stash. Like you, I mean, that's still a reasonable thing to do, but... It's nowhere near as, as necessary as it once was. So these guys aren't ostensibly evil. So Zin is not, like, thrilled that I'm butchering them. He's okay with it, but he doesn't care. So Asylum, they needed both, traditionally. So you would use mana, but it would also make you hungry. There was a thing called spell hunger that was in the game. So it would do both to you. It was brutal. Uh, I'm not throwing poison darts. Enchant weapon I'll take. I might even just use the enchant weapon. What do I have? I got plus five morning star. That's good. I'm going to keep rolling with it. I have no problem just getting this to be plus ten. Yeah, and as Fading was saying, it was weird, and it it really just made it feel bad to just spam your big nukes. Like, you would get these powerful spells, but you had to really kind of be judicious with their application. Now you can just get your biggest, deadliest spell, and the only concern you have is your mana, basically.
Yeah, it was just like you would be so happy to get that. And it otherwise did nothing for you in terms of helping you fight, but it was so worth it that you would be wearing it happily. Ah, uh, the staircase dance with the snakes. Now, the snakes will probably not let me do this forever. Yeah, this guy can constrict, but he didn't do it on the way up. So we were able to kind of get in here. Oh, boy, we're really getting them tonight, aren't we? Um, So there's Ba Zua. Now, the problem with Ba is that I don't really have a great way to resist electricity. So I'm going to have to look at my kit. I, do I have a resist electricity item at all? I might just not. A hundred percent, Siloom. And so what they did was, like, I understand, um, yeah, you're right, Fading, that's what I have to do is resistance potions. I could also, I don't know if I can silence him or not, um, but the, before I even played Dungeon Crawl, there used to be torches in the game, and torches were one of the first things that they, the developers um, eliminated, and it was for that exact reason, tedium. And you get to the point where food just became tedium. It wasn't fun to starve to death, and it just took so much extra time to get the food. However, some players um, do not like the streamlining and want the more immersive like survival element. So I totally understand that, if that's your bag. And what's cool is Dungeon Crawl lets you play at any preceding um, version. So you could go back to a version with food if you really like that. Right. Yeah, fading, 100%. It made, it, it made it um more of a thing. And you would, you know, you would be clearing the hive... Okay, so let me just check this out. Summon Hydra, Abjuration. So silence would stop Hydra. Threat lethal. It's bad. Okay. Yeah, exactly. I don't know if I'm I'm here, like if I'm ready for this. I could berserk. Berserk would do some work. So I'll just see where we're at. I don't really have Potion of Haste. I don't have Might. You know. What spells do I have? I got the boulder. Bombard is down to 12%. Now here's the question. Let me look at boulder. Or bombard rather. Blast an iron ball toward the target. I think we just get this. I think if I memorize this, it's going to take too long. I'll have to go up the steps. Um, man, maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. I'm not. I'm not good enough. But my power will go up, fading when I use um, vitalize. So vitalize will give me an intelligence boost which should raise the power level and lower the failure rate 
And I'm going to drink a potion of brilliance as well. But if to do any of this, I have to memorize this. I'm going to memorize this spell anyway. So let's just get it. And we need to find a different staircase to go down. Okay. Well, then let's try that. Um, somebody anti tellied me. Oh, okay, right. That's fine. She has no resist fire. Good point. All right. I need to kill this. Holy goodness, there's a lot of them in here. Okay. Uh, I got to go up the steps. I killed some. All right, I killed some more. All right, that's a bunch dead. Okay, this guy didn't get to constrict me, so there we go. Oh, there's some, like, confused Naga who wanders up here. Okay. All right, I have in prison that I could probably drop onto our fair lady. Hmm. Challenging, right? Let's think. This buy is going to be standing here. Are there only two ways down? Oh, what a disaster. Okay. I'm going to preemptively vitalize and step down. Yeah, there's a third right up here. Man, oh, these enemies, they're so good at uh, getting the dream line of sight on you. Look at that dire flail. That is boss. Um, Okay. Just some regular idiot here, no problem. All right, I think Bai was right around that corner, if I'm remembering right. I'm ready to recite again. You're darn right I am. All right, there's a bunch of idiots. We're getting closer to the vault is what's going on. Well, I don't know if they, they drop barding. The cool thing is that um, Bai will drop dragon skin, potentially. Oh, I got slowed. Okay, we got to get out of here. I can't just be slow. That's not going to work. The Nagaraja. Oh, Nagaraja. It's me. Wow, where'd you go? You really went further away than I was hoping. Okay. You made yourself a lot faster. That's not a welcome boost that I allow. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of anacondas. The double. All right, we got the wand of flame. I'm waiting. I know you saw me. Here you are. Hi. All right, Salamander. All right, fine. I am weak. I don't like being weak. It's a lot of big jerks over here. 
Salamander Mystic has to go immediately. They're affected by the uh, reciting. Okay. We got to go up. And we're feeble, but we got to go anyway. All right. I'm going to check my skills. Okay, I'm at Earth Magic level 10. Which means that Bombard is at 9%. We're almost there. You know what? You're so right, Siloom. They just won't sacrifice their dignity as snakes. They're like, I cannot do this. Oh, okay. We're getting close to the Rune Vault, which is why there are so many of these idiots here. Man. It's so bad to have my uh, piety just plummet because I keep using <laughs> Vitalize, but it's really the only boost that I've got. I might need to go to like a undead place just to, you know, get in good standing again level 18 nice oh god not now no i gotta run i'm not ready to fight that i need to be in a good situation thank you i was waiting for mirror that's good so mirror might be the secret here. Ooh, there's blink. All right. The shock serpent I did not want to see. Ah, how did it get around like that? Oh, that's so annoying. It came and blocked my... I thought I would be able to kill this mystic a lot faster because it had been um, affected by the recitation. It was... It's not working like that. So I need to, um, I got to get out of here immediately. I'm going to die if I don't. I might still die. The Shock Serpent is really fast. When you don't have a, like resist electricity against some of this stuff, it's just, uh, I want to save my resistance for Boswin. Um, Uh, let's see. Three dice, 13. How about that? Okay. Um... Ah, God, still hitting me so hard. Um, yeah, okay. I thought maybe I could get some swings, but I, ca I can't kill it fast enough is the issue. I don't have enough piety. I need five pips. It's okay. We're going to make it. Whoa, God, this thing is on to me. Like, I'm invisible, but I'm too loud. And... I blinked away, and it's still just running straight at me. I have... Uh, let's think. God, this thing. It's like I'm invisible. It's just following me up the steps. So annoying. All right, but we at least made it this way. Um, this is still going to be challenging. I almost killed it. 
Got it. So I cast Bombard. It bounced it back. Yeah, I was hoping to get some distance, but the Black Mamba is so fast uh, that it just came right back on us. But Black Mamba, I'm not afraid of. It's the electricity. Okay. So we have to be really careful with that. What is on our shopping list? Anything that would help here. Haste isn't bad. Might is semi-useful. Um, that mace that I don't want is resist electricity. Oh, okay. It pushes you back. Okay. Hmm. I might have to go buy this mace just to do this. So it makes me terrible against fire. Which is bad against Bazwen if it breathes fire. But for electricity purposes, not bad. I have two p resistance potions. I guess I could try to use those. She just breathes electricity? Okay. Go Zags wants the cash. Go Zag wants the bag. I think you're right about that. Ah, okay. So I'm just going to quaff um, one resistance right here and vitalize and just fight the snake. And the snake is no problem if I'm resisting. You see how we just annihilated the serpent right there. Okay. Mm. Man, I got to kill that. That was tough. Get me out of here. We got to rest. Okay. So at this point, I can bombard a 7% fail without vitalize. Earth magic is at level 12. It's hard for me to raise this, but not impossible. I still have a good aptitude. Hmm. Where did... Yeah, Orbit Destruction is way down here. It's a 21% fail. It's not bad. And we're getting close to Hellfire Mortar. Okay. The plus one mace of protection. All right, we got a blinking scroll. I'm going to just, I have to walk all of these idiots out of here. I will look into that. I'm excited about that. Man, this one guy, this guy is killing me. Get out of here. Okay, he's dead. He was constricting me. It just does so much damage. It's ridiculous. I guess getting squeezed is not good, but I was hoping I need to raise my own. At some point, I'm going to need to just go back into maces and flails. I have level 15, which is reasonable, but I'm just not doing enough damage fast enough yet. It's not my favorite, but I want to get some of these spells. So let me look at that.
Let me see what you're talking. Oh, do I just not have it yet? No, I don't have it yet. I got to find it. Now that might be anime dead. <laughs> That's unreal. Okay. Well, we'll keep looking for it. Thank you. All right. We got Guardian. Okay. So I'm just going to um, quickly chant and then vitalize and we got to run. Okay. <laughs> They're all here. Okay. Uh, this is not an ideal spot. There's too many guardian serpents. <laughs> Look at where my teleport put me. It put me next to the rune, um, which is funny. But not in like in a bad situation. Like I'm not thrilled with this. I'm gonna have to teleport again. I was, I mean, I had basically cleared out the entire floor, so I was going with the odds that I would be put up at a different spot. Uh, I gotta, I gotta teleport again. I'll just pray that it, you know, works a little bit better the next time. Well, not wand of flame, um, quiver of fireball. Okay, that's what we were talking about. Get out of here. Bombard it. Dead. Okay. We got two Guardian Spirits. That's basically... Everything that I was hoping to have happen there happened, which is that I wanted to just get out of that spot with three guardian serpents in the doorway to the rune vault so that I could disperse the enemies and just take them one by one. And by taking out two guardians right there, and here's the other one, we hopefully eliminate their bill. Oh, that's so much poison. Eliminate their ability to just um, keep teleporting enemies in. Now this, I don't know how this happened. Oh, the Guardian Serpent down. Look at this. I mean, I came around the corner. This guy instantly teleported these guys in to surround me. A delight. Okay. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do this. And we'll back off. I need to revitalize and just run. Okay, this is better. So what I'm going to do then is we're going to start evoking the lightning rod like so and the lightning rod like that. And we'll just kill the serpent. And lightning, actually, fireball, yeah. Fireball, here you go. I said fireball. Okay, guys, it's fireball. There you go. Get out of here. Stop that. Stop your insanity. Okay. There's this guy waiting for me. Let's go. Man, the poison. Oh, this guy's going to kill me. Okay, fine. Please don't. I'm trying to not use my Vitalize. I don't have Resist Poison. Doing the Snake Pit, you know, some of these places without Resist Poison is just so brutal. I just have to pop my Vitalize basically every single moment that I'm here. It, You can. It just stinks. That did do good damage to him. I mean, he's not dead, but it's better than zero. Salamander, fine. Hey, Hiram. Good evening, my friend. Good to see you. It's going great. I hope you're doing well. Uh, another Salamander. Let's just... We're going to kind of just dance these enemies to clear out the vault if possible. Where'd that guy go? 
Oh, he didn't see me? Okay. But I'm hoping that Bai does not wander over here in the middle of this process because it will make it much worse. Okay. Oh, man, look at that. The fact that this guy gets is able to hit me with a bow from here is preposterous. Like, the diagonal is right here, and this is a wall. There's no way that this guy... I guess the way to the... It's how it works in some other games, where the, I'm, the corner of this square is visible, I suppose, by this. Um... Oh, is he using his ability to move the shot over? Then that would make sense. Oh, okay. I was like, oh, okay, well, I guess he's doing that then. All right, and that spell is going to do nothing. Okay. I'm going to start chanting. Oh, boy. Okay. So those dudes are dead. A lot of them are gone. Here he comes. Well, there he is. Hi. Okay, so we got the rune. And they did have a bunch of shops, which I can't complain about. All right, uh, let's just try to get out of here. Yeah, I'm not going to fight by. There's no reason to. I could try to, well... Here I am saying there's no reason to fight by. I could get the scales and make armor, but is Storm Dragon armor... I mean, it would give me the res resist electricity that I'm looking for. Hmm, let me see. All right, I'm going to go to my shopping list. I need to buy some of these teleport scrolls. I am going to buy this. Yeah, just buy all the items. I need as much teleport as possible. It's just a survival thing. So then let's go ahead and where do, where do we want to go? We can go to the vaults now because we have our first rune. Um, and we can go to the depths as well. I was to dungeon 12, I believe. I mean, I got the snake pit. I'm going to get the vaults. God, do I have to do the shoals? I'm going to need some better spells for that. It's just sad. <laughs> Look at this. Fun time. I know, it's so bad. I'm not pleased. I know, it's actually not too bad. I just don't think the rewards are, are very good, unfortunately. Oh, did I clear this to the depths? I guess I did. Man, I didn't realize I had gone all the way to the depths. I did. Well. Uh, then we go to the vaults. What's this pendant? Ah, it's just regular. Okay. Let's see how hard these deep trolls are.
Yeah, I mean, it, to be honest, you're right. Acrobat is not very good. Almost anything is a nice upgrade. Magic regeneration. I mean, that's okay. I'm not really... I'm not using spells quite enough for that to be insane. Yeah, it doesn't help me. I mean, I think the th the thing about acro um is that it, it oh my god, I'm pushing no. Stop it. Oh, okay, I have to always ignore it. Okay. Uh Um Okay, this ring right here, I'm just going to drop it. I'm never going to wear it. Uh, this helmet is resist poison, so I could think about it. It just kills my intelligence. So what I'm going to do is... Um, I'm going to go ahead and drop it. And then... I'm going to drop it. You know what? You're right. I might want that. I do have a, a good amount of potions, um, but it's still probably better than nothing. Um, vulnerability, we have to drop. Anything that's purple like that is out. Mutation, get rid of it. Okay, okay. Now that's a lot of centaurs. My goodness. Yeah. I guess you're right. Boy, this got interesting. All right, let me take this guy up with me. This necromancer's got to go. Hey, elves, good evening. Good to see you. All right. I've been drained a little bit. I'm going to vitalize, and we're going to go... I mean, there's only one way in. And we're going to have to stair dance a little bit here. <laughs> oh my god, I walked down and got shot by like 50 arrows. Oh, this is going to be awful. Mm. I don't have another way in. There's a summoner down there. Okay. Layer is clear. Dungeons clear to 15. Snake pit clear. Orgish mines clear. Elven halls 1 and 2 are clear. I'm going to go to the elven halls and I'm going to go to uh, 3. They want me to go down here into the hall of blades. I just find it to be a little bit too challenging. I could get a good weapon, but that would mean I'd have to fight it, which is, you know, inherently a bit scary. Okay. Uh, I got... He pointed at me. I don't like that. Don't do it. Don't point at me. What am I casting? Fireball? 
Man, the range is really that bad on that? Yeah, I think it actually is. Um, good point. So, the vault is definitely up here. Uh, there's Donald, too. Yikes. Ooh, Donald's got an evening star. Let me look at him. It's a plus three heavy evening spar. You're right about that. Heck, yeah, that's great, man. Love it. All right. Hey, Demon, what's up, my friend? I'm sorry to hear that. His shield is just a regular kite shield. Oh, man. Yep, that's the worst. Sometimes it's what you have to do. Um, I'm gonna... Donald has pumped himself up. Yeah, I'm gonna move out. He is highly motivated. All right. Let's see if our Donald can fight this Donald a little bit. Two Donalds. Double Donald. Donald actually isn't really that hard, but it's funny. I want that evening star, though, that's for sure. Yeah, the Blade Master, he's no joke. So we might have to. <laughs> he is not impressed by Paralyzed. He's like, nope. Nope. That'll hit me. All right. Well, this is going to be loud. But sometimes. You got to make noise. Okay, he's killing me. He's not happy. Hey, Crab, good evening. Good to see you. All right, we got to go up. And I'm going to cast Bombard. Didn't do anything. It missed him. Oh, okay. Well, that's bad. All right. Um, I'm going to blink away, just like that. I just have no, like, incredible healing. Um, I might just blink to the steps. I don't know if the tambourine will hold him. Yeah, I might. It did. You're right. Good idea. It did hold him. All right. So he's stuck or was. Now, oh, that didn't do anything. That didn't do what I wanted. Let's see if I can get him again. Okay, there we go.
Come on, Boulder, do it. It did not do it. It hit the wall. Man, what? Is, I mean, it's like I pinned the guy in place. I cast the boulder, and it's like, you mean hit the wall? Get out of here. What a dream spot that was to go bowling. It just keeps missing him. I hate this guy. I got no mana left. Yeah, he doubled the distance. I th I didn't think um he could move two like that. Okay, it's a problem. All right, I messed around with this guy too much. Oh, what a jerk! So I'm just going to put him in jail. Oh, I need more space. Okay, I can't just put him in jail. All right, then. He's too hard to hit with the spell, unfortunately. No, I don't have enough time, I don't think. Uh, he's almost dead. No, Blink is great. It's my option. I just don't want to use it. I'm looking at all of my options. Blink is the last thing that I use. Um, teleport also helps, but the problem with teleport is I don't want to get put into this um, room of blades. It it could not put me in there, and I'd be fine. But if it did, it would be less than ideal. Also, teleport takes several turns to go into effect, um, and in that space, this guy could destroy me. So I have. A couple of considerations. I could berserk and just go for it. Um, I have a 39% chance and he's at 57. I think what we do here is... Yeah, it's bad. Um, I think I just have to blink. And I have one left after this. I'm going to blink to here. I'm going to fireball, and we kill them. Okay, so, you know, I could have maybe fireballed him over where I was, but I didn't want to risk it. What a jerk. All right. Too expensive, 100%. Oh, right, what was this again? I forgot. Um, You need... <laughs> scrolls of blinking, right. And it's like, I would never give you my scrolls of blinking. I wish, I'm looking for a big cache of them, but it's how I stay alive. I've only, think I've had two or three. It's close, but it's my favorite scroll. Okay. So then we need to go... Can we... dip our toe in the vaults without getting killed. Okay. Actually, yes. Because the centaur warriors um, were adjacent. If they were shooting at us, 
it would have been a lot worse, but they weren't. What are all these undead idiots here? So these guys won't follow me up the stairs. They're just like um, constructs and ogre mage zombies and things. The simulacrum's got to go. There we go. Surprised with how hard these skeletons are hitting us for, but that's the vaults for you. Okay. There we go. Um, Orbit Destruction still at 20... This is going to stay at 21% unless I raise Conjuration. Hellfire and Mortar will continue to get vaguely easier. The Steaming Robe. That robe is positively steaming. Hmm. Well, at least I can earn some piety with Zen here. Okay. Um. Ouch. Stop it. That's too painful. I can't handle that. Man, these guys in there... Incredibly large weapons. Yeah. Oh, that's a cool new sprite. I haven't seen that before. Look, he's got a bookshelf and everything. That's neat. Oh, he's got a wizard hat. It's a special little vault. The folio of Rubido and a plus zero hat and rope. He's like, I'm not a very good wizard, but I was living in the vaults. How's everybody doing? Amusing. Okay, I didn't quite mean for that to happen, but it did. There we go. All right. Here they come. Oh, you know what? Oh, it was on Elf. I forgot to get um, Donald's heavy morning, uh, evening star. That might be actually really good. It's slower, but it does an incredible amount of damage. But I had to go back to Elf 3, which doesn't sound very fun. Oh, I got marked. Okay, we got to go. I am marked, which stinks, but I don't mind... Um... Just uh, waiting at the staircase for some of these guys. I can't get my shot around. This guy's in the way. I don't have enough magic. Wow. It's awful to have not enough magic to cast my spells. But I don't really have a lot of magic. Okay. Polter Guardian is new to me. Many poltergeists are fiercely territorial over the domains they choose to haunt. But these have extended that protection even to the people who share the domain with them. All right. Bad. And they do force. Oh, God. They have force lands. Okay. So that spell moves you and does a ton of damage. Not great. So I'm going to try to get this troll up the steps. We did. Oh, well, he dropped his armor.
All right, I'm just going to keep stair dancing, and looks like we got an ugly thing as well. Okay. Where'd that polter guy go? Earth magic's getting rough. I think I'm going to switch to fire. Um, my earth magic is about as high as I think I need it. Hellfire Mortar wants it, but it'll also take fire, which will lower its uh, failure rate. And fire is easier to train at this point. There's no earth magic spell that's like above 7th level that I'm really trying to get. So I think I've probably got way in more than I need there. Um, and we'll just go ahead and do fire magic. We have better aptitude in fire magic anyway. Okay. Yeah, those would be nice, but they'd be tough. If I get a manual, we talk differently. I'm clearing out this entire floor just at this staircase. There are. Um, yes, Demon. They're called folios. They they are still in the game. Um, <laughs> they keep bouncing in. I don't know if it's the poltergeist that's doing it. Oh, they're called tomes? Manuals. Yeah, that's right. Manuals. Oh, he finally got me with that forest lance, I think. Okay. There we go. Now, manual is it. That's the right word. Oh, boy. I'm fragile. All right. My goodness, look at us. But if you look down here, Hellfire Mortar, it's getting slowly easier. Now this is a room full of jerks. Um, I'll have to go check it. Man, that was a tough room to clear out, but boy, did we. Oh, oh, the Evening Star. It was um this right here. So, oops. Um, oh, oh, this one down here. Uh, it looks just regular. Hey, Morgan, what's up? Thanks for subscribing. It's just a plus three morning star, which is fine. Just, yeah, not an artifact. Ooh, scroll shop. Love it. Ooh. Wand of Acid is fantastic. Oh my, look at that. Two scrolls of blinking. So if I buy those, I'm I have three for the treasure vault. I would be one away if I could sandbag them. I'm going to buy him anyway, just to escape. Yeah, I want four. It ain't messing around. But it could be worth it. Or it could be terrible. It's so hard to... Uh... All right.
<laughs> that's funny, right? Big gold pile for you. That's all you get. This floor has gone pretty in a, in a pretty funny way just because um, I've had so much marking and guys coming to uh, meet me that we've cleared a bunch of it just, you know, by standing there and stair dancing. Oh, elephants. All right. Well, here they come. Um, okay. I don't really want more than one elephant on me if I can avoid it. Look at this guy. Mr. Fancy Pants with the spells. Alright, this guy is, um, the Iron... Bound frost heart is what's getting me with the walls. So I got to step away from the wall. And now we're getting. We have some problems here. Hmm. I'm fragile. Well, it could work. Yep, it, it put them all in place. Very handy. Fireball. Man, I can't believe there's still so many enemies left. After all that teleporting. All right. Um, I think fragile means you take more damage from spells. It could be anything. I'm not exactly sure. All right. My goodness. All right, these guys are not good. He's got the electrical apparatus, which is really terrifying. How did he open the door from like a mile away? Does he blink around? Wow, thank you. That's awful. 50%. No wonder I was... Oof. Yeah, the fact that it stacks with harm, too. Good God. All right. So that's the Vault 1 clear. So we're done with Vault 1. And I'm actually at 24% now on Hellfire Mortar, which is really exciting. I have... Um, there's no blinking left that I can find yet, but we'll see if we can get some more. I almost had to use it, but I really want to see if I can get into that treasure vault. Anyway, um, we got our first rune with this character. We're level 19. We're working on fire magic just enough to try to get some high-level spells online. Then we go back to fighting maces and flails, armor, all of these melee things round out our character. Oh, okay, thank you, Fading. But even though we've made a lot of progress, which is fantastic, um, it is a roguelike bonanza tonight, which means we're going to switch to our second roguelike of the evening, which is Shattered Pixel Dungeon.